welcome to Yogaya Women's Health Routine Glowing. Start standing with your feet mat width apart and bring your left hand over the right, hooking the thumbs. Place your hands into your navel and close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Picture two vortices moving through the soles of your feet, coming from the very center of the earth. Allow the vortices to come to your pelvis and then to wrap around your spine into a DNA serpent. Feel the energy rising through your second chakra, the center below your navel. As you open your eyes, gently begin to circle your hips and circle the arms clockwise. Gently bending your knees and picturing a figure eight with your pelvis. Moving from right to left, from left to right. Reverse the circle of the hands and the pelvis. Sit lower in your hips. Allow the knees to respond to the swaying of your hips. Feeling the power of your femininity here. Open your arms around your breasts. Inhale through the back of your head and exhale. Scoop your belly in. Bring the hands through your breast circle. Exhale through your shoulders, back of the head, and scoop the belly in. Hands to the earth. Celebrating the earth and its fertile ground, the fertile ground on which you're stepping and walking, circling the energy around your breasts, into your ears, back of the head, contract, exhale, hollow your belly out, inhale again, open the spine, open your shoulders, exhale, contract. Just allowing the energy to flow from the tailbone to the crown of the head as you feel that spiral wrapping around your spine. Now bring your hands to the back of your knees and the front of your hips and back of your pelvis, moving down your shins and calves and the front of your body. Exhale and inhale. Stabilize the hips. Exhale and inhale. Release all tension from your body away into the ground. Now shift your focus forward and begin to spiral your hands, creating that serpent with your hands as you shift your torso right and left. Picture the spiral driven by your hands interlocking all the way up until you reach your wrists. Twist to the right. Plant your feet firmly into the ground. Come to the center. Flex your left foot. Move down into a runner's pose, dropping the mudra into your heart. Lengthen your spine as much as you can. Hold here. Replant your left foot and now transfer the weight onto your left foot. Press the right foot back into the floor. Bring your hands into a peacock, threaded and open like a wigwam up into the sky. And transfer your weight onto the left leg. Lift your right foot off the floor, then drop it back again. Pull an imaginary bow. Flex your left foot again. Hold here into standing bow pose. Your thumbs plugged into the sky. And then clasp your hands behind your head and open the shoulder. Readjust your feet so you come into a warrior two stands. The front heel intersects the back arch. And open your spine into a crescent. Stretch your shoulders. Straighten the front knee, hinge at the crease of your hip, and shift your weight forward, tilt. Keep the bind behind your head. Triangle here, 
Release your hand to your shin and all the way to the floor. Flex your left foot and move your right hand to the inside of your left thigh. Twist deeper here. Bend your right knee. Readjust your front foot into parallel. Bring your left hand to your right knee and twist your gaze to the right. Sit as low as you can. Lower your left hand. Move your left leg back into a lunge. Press your right hand into your knee and open your head to the left. Widening across the collarbone and lifting your sternum up into the sky. Exhale, contract. Drop your back knee and then lift it up again. Hug your front thigh with your chest. Drop the back knee into the floor. Spin the shin so you can place the top of your foot. Bring your left hand to your right elbow, your right hand to the back of your head, and open here into a low lunge, stretching your deltoid and shoulder blade. Open more into a back bend. Square your hips. Shift forward, interlace your fingers into a reverent low lunge. Curl the back foot under, reverent warrior. Open the shoulders. Hold here and straighten your spine. Gaze down at your right foot. Lower the hands down. Lower your left knee into the floor. Lift the top of the foot, uncurl. Flex your front foot. Lengthen your spine. Bring your hands into a chalice mudra, pressing your thumbs into your chin and fold over your legs. Bring your hands to the side of the mat. Left arm rooted into the floor so you can drop down into your left and right sitting bones. Bring the feet into a side diamond pose. Lift up into a back bend and move your right hand into your left shoulder. Arch here. Gaze down at your left hand. Lower your hips down. Bring your right hand to your right heel, your left hand down into a windmill pose. Twist all the way to the back of your mat, spiraling your hips back, and then point your foot forward. Reach your left arm up. Hold here. Back into windmill mudra with your hand and foot. Yogic toe lock, the right big toe with the pointer and the middle finger. Pull the bow here. Stretch the leg or keep it bent. Hold. Find your balance and re-bend your right knee. Hold here. Find your balance. Your thumbs plug into the sky. Drop your left hand down. Take a twist here. Dropping into both sitting bones. Exhale, bend your elbow and contract into your right thigh. Deep hamstring stretch. Re-extend the leg to the side. Drop the heel down. Readjust so that you can walk your left hand to the outside edge of the right foot. Your right hand moves into the right metatarsal. Twist your gaze into the right. Lower deeper here. Your left knee is bent. Go a little bit deeper. Exhale all the way down. Releasing and receiving from the earth. As you come up to sit, clasp your left knee with the right hand. Reach your left arm to the right foot or keep it extended over your head. Finding this version of a ninja bind here, holding and opening the side of the waist. Bring your knee to the center, plant your hands behind your hip, lift your hips up, point your right foot forward, open your shoulders, drop your head back. Walk forward to your heels, Lowering down into your left knee, 
moving your left hand into your right knee as you open your heart up to the sky to receive the blessings. Gaze at your left shoulder, contract the lower belly. Walk your hands to your heel, forward and back into a wide-legged downward facing dog. Forward Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Your feet are outside your mat. Lift up, upward facing dog. Take a gentle contraction to the left. Gaze over your left shoulder. Lift your knee up. Slide your back knee in and open your left arm all the way back. Readjust, inhale, upward facing dog, gaze over your right shoulder now. Continue to slide your knee into the center, lift your pelvis up, reach your right arm all the way to the left. Bring your hand back to the mat, lower all the way down, interlace your fingers at the small of your back, open your shoulders, point your feet up. Inhale into a bow pose. Clasp the ankles with your hands. Open your shoulders. Lift your gaze up. Go a little bit higher. Shoulders down away from the ears. Lower down onto your belly. Bring your hands to frame the mat. Move your hips back to release the back bend. Relax your forehead into the ground. Fan your fingers. Bring your fontanelle onto the mat. Your hands into your sacrum. Contract your lower abdomen. Lift your feet off the ground, point them, and open your shoulders by interlacing your fingers. Reaching the arms way back and up over your head. Hollow your belly out into a rabbit pose variation. Curl your toes under. Press up and back into a downward facing dog. Walk your left foot and your right, gently circling as you move forward. Feet mat width apart. Ripple all the way up. Contract and start your spiral on the other side. Picture your arms interlocking into the center as your hips create and draw a figure eight. Your arms move vertically. Your hips move horizontally. Feel the intersecting of the spiral as you bring your hands to touch from the inside. Twist to the left. Keep your knees straight here. Shoulders away from the ears. Back to the center. Flex your right foot. Weave the mudra into your heart. And fold over your legs into a runner's pose. Square your hips as much as possible. Transfer your weight onto your right foot. Walk your left foot slightly back into a baby lunge. Open your hands into a peacock mudra and arch back. Transfer your weight onto the right leg. Lift your left leg off the floor. Stack knee into knee and open your heart into a peacock. Release your back foot into the ground and pull the imaginary bow. Your thumbs are plugged into the sky. Flex your right foot. The shoulders are even. Clasp your hands from behind your head. Readjust your feet. Heel toeing your right foot forward so you can come into warrior two. Heel and arch intersect. Open your shoulders. Straighten your knees out. Hinge at the crease of your hip. Continue into this modification of triangle. Keep the bind. Release the hand to the shin. Flex your right foot and bring your left hand to the inside of the right thigh. Twist deeper. Lift your gaze up. Even your shoulders out. 
parallel your feet out. Take your right hand to your left hip and sit as low as you can, keeping the spine erect here. Drop the right hand down, heel toe the left foot, and step your right leg back. Come into a lunge, pressing the knee away as you lift your gaze over to the right, looking over your right shoulder and down into the ground. Exhale, contract, counterposing, hugging the thigh into the chest. Your elbow is bent. Lower the back knee into the ground, uncurl the back foot. Clasp your left hand with the right, moving the right hand into the left elbow and open your heart, stretching the right deltoid and moving into a low lunge, widen across the collarbone. Interlace your fingers at the small of the back, open the shoulders. Hold here into a low lunge. Lengthen your spine. Flex the front foot, move your hips back. Plug your thumbs into your chin as you come into a chalice mudra with your hands. Lower the hands down, bend the front knee, readjust your shin rotating it in so you can drop into your right sitting bone and lift up into an arch. Kneeling crescent, left hand into your right shoulder. Breathing here, feeling the stretch and the oppositional pull. Lower your hips down, clasp your heel with your left hand, point your right hand down to the earth, spiral your hips back into windmill mudra Try to even your shoulders. Come back to the center, spiraling the hips to the side. Yogic toe lock the left big toe with a pointer in the middle finger. Then point your right hand up. With your knee bend, try to straighten the left knee and Pull the imaginary bow. Rebend the left knee. Hold it here. Find your balance. Release your foot down to the earth. Moving your right hand to the outside edge of the left foot. The left hand into the sole of the foot. Lower down. Peek through the window of your arms. Relax your shoulders. Receive the power from the earth. Gently come up through the side, pushing the right knee away with your left hand and moving your right arm all the way to clasp the left foot. Feel the oppositional pull, opening through the side of your waist. Contract your belly, move your knee into the center. Bring your hands behind your hips. Lift your hips, shoulders over the wrists. Flex your left foot, lower the hips down. Take a gentle twist to the left. Keeping your right knee bent and come back into a pelvic lift. Flexing the left foot, open your, your heart. Walk your feet forward, dropping the right knee into the floor. Bring your right hand to your left knee and open your gaze up into the sky. Your right knee is pressing into the floor. Your right hand pushes the left knee out. Walk your hands in front of your mat. Step your left leg and your right leg downward facing dog. Ripple forward into an up dog. Open your legs out and exhale. Come into a camel pose, bringing your hands into reverse namaste and opening your heart up into the sky, creating a vault with your spine. Lower your hips down to your heels. Keep the mudra at your sacrum. Contract to the left. 
Drop your hips deeper into your heels. Lengthen. Open the shoulders. Contract to the right. Hollow the belly out. Sit on your heels. Drop your hands behind your hips. Lift up. Kneeling camel. And lower down. Carry your legs forward, opening them with your knees bend. Hold the soles of your feet. Crisscross your arms to grab opposite knees and lift your gaze up as you continue to flex your feet. Reach your arms up into the sky. Flex your feet. Come into an eagle bind with your arms, pressing your hands together, wrapping your forearms and upper arms. Contract and circle the arms the other way. Take the other bind, contracting into eagle. Flex your feet. Point your fingers to the earth. Receiving the life force. Igniting Shakti, the feminine power that coils like a serpent around your spine. Opening up your second chakra. Open your hands up into the sky. Take a hug and extend your legs forward. Walk your hips to your heels. Slowly release. With your knees splayed open, press your hands under your hips. Open your chest into this modified fish butterfly. Drop your head back. Full surrender. Release deeper. Bring your hands into a seed mudra, into your heart, your elbows pointing up to the sky, or stay where you were. Release your arms to the hips first, and then curl in, bringing your chin to your chest. To get a relief from the back bend. Twist to the right, open your elbows out, shift your hips, come back to the center with your hips open, twist to the left. Relax your gaze. Feel the power of the earth coming closer. Open your arms and open your legs to receive. Close your eyes. Deepen your breath. Trace the breath from your sacrum to your crown and notice how it strings all your energy centers. Focus on the breath and move it into the second chakra, the center of your creativity and sensuality. Inhale again and amplify the space between the pubic bone and the tailbone, widening the base of your receptive powers with each breath. Inhale again from the navel and let your breath outline your silhouette, consciously delineating every crease, crevice, and curve that you own. See the curves of your body and the perfect shape that houses you. Your curves and beautiful expression of your femininity are yours. You own them. Let the breath move your body with intention and love and choose to treat yourself with care, kindness, and respect. Keep the breath smooth and fill up every fiber with appreciation. You're beautiful, confident, the perfect age, size, and shape. You embrace your whole identity with joy and pride. Take a deep breath in again, appreciating the female cycles that your body experiences. Whatever your stage of maturity, honor it as a rite of passage into your fertile growth. With the next breath, picture your body, mind and soul in its best shape, mood and spirit and marvel at the way all your procreative organs function. Marvel the many ways in which your body moves 
expands, stretches, and breathes. You are perfection in motion. You are motion in devotion. Dedicated to maintaining your inner flora and your vibrant feminine ecosystem. Open your eyes. Hug yourself tightly and lift your head up as you flex your feet. Gently lift yourself all the way up, bending your knees. Reach the arms over the head into a peacock mudra, creating a diamond at the center of the head. And then bring this diamond into your third eye and cup the energy that it radiates. Move it through your heart and back into the earth. You are radiant and delight in taking care of your body when it needs healing and expansion. You rock.